एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल दिस इज खुशबू एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट एन वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग ओपन सोर्स प्रोग्राम सो दिस प्रोग्राम इज फॉर एवरीवन फॉर ऑल द गर्ल्स ऑल द बॉयज देयर इज नो एज लिमिट देयर इज नो क्राइटेरिया ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ योर ब्रांच और द कोर्स यू आर डूइंग आइदर यू आर फ्रॉम सी एस आई टी और यू आर फ्रॉम ई सी ई एम ए और ट्रिपल ई everyone can participate in this program and even if you are not doing btech you are doing bca bsc msc or whatever course you are doing everyone is eligible in this program either you are a beginner or you are a professional this program is for you because this is a very beginner friendly program and even if you are a professional you are going to get opportunity to teach these beginners so that's why this program is for everyone so let's understand more about this program the program name is girl script summer of code and don't get misled by the name of the program it is not for girls it is for everyone the name is like this because it is conducted by girl script foundation so this is a 3 month long open source program either you can apply as a participant or as a mentor and then there are going to be projects uh, on which you are you will be working for 3 months The applications for the 2021 batch is out and the last date to apply is 15 February. So go check out the website. So this is the website. It is gsoc.girlscript.tech. So you can just go to the website and you can see the registrations are open. So you can see there are two type of registrations. One is for participants and other is for mentors. So you can uh, you can apply for whatever position you are comfortable with. and when you will apply you have to fill certain form in which you have to give your ids and stuff we will see the form later let's firstly discuss the timeline of the program so uh, so see this is the eligibility so as they have written the girl script summer of code proudly entertains participation from all type of genders age groups and countries all willing candidates can apply for the mentorship for an amazing learning and leadership experience also the summer of code being open for all provides a platform to all the participants both students and professionals to showcase their talent on a big level so as we can say it is open for everyone and so let's see the schedule so first thing that happens is uh, all the project admins actually add their projects to the girl script summer of code and so that it can get approved and then they can uh, start searching for the mentors for the project so at 20th jan they started for the projects and they also started the applications for the campus ambassadors so when you become campus ambassador of certain uh, program what you have to do is you have to sp uh, spread awareness about that program in your campus which means like if uh, as i am from maharaja garsin institute so they will choose certain one or two students from each and every institute who are going to spread about this uh, spread knowledge about this program in their institute so if i am the campus ambassador i have to spread the knowledge about this program to my college only so that was uh, that's what happen when you become a campus ambassador and now from 1st feb the applications for participant and mentor start so now it's open and deadline is 15th feb and then announcement so on 20th feb you will get announcement of the participants and mentors so you will get a mail saying that if you are selected or not and then uh, 24 to 28 feb there is community building sessions so basically you will be added to a slack community and there is all the work and all the all the talks are going to happen so uh, you are also going to learn how you can use slack and like professional platforms basically and then from the 1st march to 31st may the this is going to be the period of gsoc so so this is it and so this is not an internship it is just a simple uh, open source program which can help you getting started with open source and learn about git and like version control and how to collaborate in teams and how to uh, like so uh, top 50 performers of this are going to get swags like t-shirts and uh, stickers and all that stuff then all the participants who are going to get at least one pr merge 
PR is the pull request, then they they are going to receive the digital certificates. The top twenty five performers are going to get the letter of recommendations and internship opportunities, and then the top three performers are going to get the cash prize. So that's also a good thing. So these were the prizes and rewards. And if you are interested in knowing that what are all the like. um projects so you can just go to the project section and here you can see the projects so projects for 2021 like today was the last day where they are going to select the projects so i'm guessing that projects will be will get out by tomorrow so uh, right now you can uh, see the projects that were there in uh, like 2019 batch and 2018 batch projects are mostly same like the last year so if you are interested in you can just check out that uh, with your tech stack uh, which are the projects that are available so these are the projects you can see their details and what are all the things that are required hacker and test case or you can see there is admin ashutosh rathi and tech stack is python and description so you can even check out their github and everything so let's see how we can apply for the same as we go to the website so here we can find the registration for the participant and the mentor so as i open for the participant you will get this form google form and here you will have to submit your email id your names and gender contact number github profile and linkedin url so you can just go to your linkedin profile and copy paste the url then your college name and country and um so there are three main questions in the application form first is why do you want to participate the second is what do you expect from this program and the third is do you have any past experience if yes please mention so um, here you will feel like uh, whether i should like um, write one or two lines or i should like write a complete paragraph or like an essay about the same so what i would like to suggest you is like uh, there is no protocol like you should write one sentence or you should write a paragraph in this application form or like any application form in general unless and until they have given the word limits okay so what you should do is you should uh, you should think about like uh, if you are going to write a paragraph what are all the things you want to add in that paragraph or maybe write it down and then think about it let Uh, like how you can make it compact how you can make it shorter so when you are going to write a full paragraph and then you are going to make it shorter it is going to be compact and the sentences are going to become more effective than before so that way you will have short answer that will of three or four lines or say five lines and it will be very effective so you need to write effective sentences and not just and not just a paragraph for the sake of writing a paragraph or just writing two or three lines because you are too lazy to like think about anything and write it and your uh, your answers should make it obvious that yes you deserve to be here uh, and that's what i think whenever i am writing about myself my work or like anything and i try to be as true as possible it gives certain transparency that okay th this is the work i have done this is what i want to do but i haven't tried or this is what i am thinking of learning or this is what i am trying to do from past uh, this this month or this is the things i have done so this really helps a lot when uh, uh, when you are writing your answer genuinely and not like getting it written by any other person maybe then it it can easily get reflected in your answer so try to be like very true with your answers so this is the thing so that was the application form and you can just fill it if you you will get a uh, email by 24 that either you are selected or you are rejected and there you will get your slack links where you can start uh, bonding with your mentors and where you can learn about more about the projects and you can actually go to their uh, github profiles and read about uh, their readmes and the documentation of the project so that you can learn about them and then you can also start uh, like interacting with the mentor over your slack group 
so that you can understand that uh, what are all the things they want to do and and if you don't want to get miss out about these programs or you want to stay connected with my engineering related stuff subscribe to the channel if you found this video helpful like this video share it with all your friends and tell them that they can also kick start their journey with the, this program and i will see you all next time